So anyway, what I was going on about is the things that the other party is going to take steps on initially are probably going to be abstract from the judgment. So you need to keep an eye on the real property records in the county where you live and have investment or homestead real property. So basically what happens is the jury questions that they answer when they go deliberate, the jury questionnaire is reduced to a single or two or three page piece of paper depending on how lengthy and how, how many issues there were in the case. And the, on this date, the jury found, trial was held, and the money damages are. And that is reduced to what is called a final order. That final order is then generally taken by the winner in that lawsuit and filed in the real property records where that company or entity or owners of that entity have property, whether that's vehicles, homes, rental houses, sailboats, what have you. And so keeping an eye on that, uh, either through an investigator or something to find out if real property abstracts are being filed against you or any of your investment properties or any property. The other thing that happens is that you can be compelled to sit for what is called a debtor's examination, and that's that's essentially what post-judgment discovery is. So. Yeah.